Hey, what's going on guys? Root of the Null here, back with some more Python. Now, in the last video, we were checking out whether or not a string was uh, was full of lowercase characters. Now, in this video, we're going to do that exact same thing, but we're going to test whether it's in uppercase characters. So this is a lot of that same idea of looping through the string and testing for the, the character, obviously, but we are going to do it with uppercase characters. So all we really have to do is write the same code that we did last video, but change a variable. Like, the, you're going to be looking for the ASCII uppercase characters instead of the ASCII ASCII lowercase variables. But uh, hey, let's give it a go anyway, and let's see what we can do. I'm going to create a new function here. Not a new function anyway, but a new Python script. File.python, usr bin environment python, class, base, look at this. Define, initialize, pass in self. Some, some comments going here. We can, def we can test whether this is the current script that we're running. Got a random P in there. That's weird. <laughs> Root equals base. Alright. So let's get a string variable first off. String, self.string equals um, string. How about that? So now, we can check out what we're going to be looking at today. We can use self.string is lower, and that's the one that we were looking at in the last video, but we're going to be using is upper, so we can test if all the characters that we find in here, or at least the letters, or the alphabetic characters, if any of them, if they're all uppercase. So in this case, we will print this out and see what that function gives us. False, because none of these are upper. If we had uh, string, it's still going to return false, because we want to have all of these be the uppercase form. So Now that will return true, because these are all uppercase. So let's see how this is done. Let's create a new function here. Define um, is upper self and then string. And for character, we're going to want to loop through that string. And remember, we should change the name of it. Character to look in. String to look in. We can test if the character is in string dot ASCII letters. Now remember we do have to import the string module because we're going to be able to look through some of the letters that we would normally be working with. So import string right up at the top of your file here. And now if it's a letter, we're going to want to test if that character is not in string dot ASCII uppercase. We've got a problem. We can just we can just break out of our function, break out of the loop and everything. We can just say, nope, this is not the way that it should be. But if we do go through the loop and we don't have a problem, we can just say, yeah, that's fine. We can return true. So now, if we run this, but first we should probably set up the function call, self.isUpper. We can pass in self.string. And that's going to return true, because string is still full of all of these uppercase characters. If we turn one of these, though, into a string is a non-believer. <laughs> string is a non-believer. I have no idea what I'm saying. We still have some uh, some lowercase characters in here. So this is a problem. If we, uh, if we actually have all of them be uppercase, though, We still have white space, and we still have these, but it's still going to return true because all the characters that we're looking at are uppercase. But if we have one of them be wrong, then dude, you better uh, you better start praying. <laughs> but hey, all right, guys, uh, I know this one is very simple. It's very similar to the last tutorial that we were looking at, and uh, really that's all for now. Uh, we can just loop through some of the great things that the string module supplies for us, and we are all set to go. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were able to uh, figure out how that how the built-in function works here. And remember that we're all able to do all of this without the string module if we just use that uh, chr function and loop through the numbers that we know of in the ASCII table, or we could really manually type in each letter and store that in an array, but that's kind of obnoxious. We could just go, like, uh, letters, and we set that to... We could have A, and we could... We could have B, and we could have C, and all that, but it'd be very, very obnoxious. <laughs> 
So what we do is we do loop through the ASCII table and use that chr function. But the import string module, or at least the string module, lets us even solve that problem in itself. So it's very convenient, and I hope you guys can uh, take advantage of that. But hey, thank you guys for watching again. It'd be cool if maybe you could uh, like the video, maybe leave me a comment, and maybe even subscribe. I don't know. It's whatever you want to do. But uh, thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.